Hey, this is Bill Raymond. This is a comment or request video. I'm going to show you how to include your database files in your Git repository. So let's go ahead and get started. There might be a little background noise in this video, so sorry about that. We're going to first start by running Visual Studio 2019 and create a new project. Then we're going to choose ASP.NET Web Application, click Next, and click Create. I'll choose MVC and click Create. Once created, you should have a project with an app data folder, but there's no database in there. So we'll right click on this, choose Add, and choose New Item, and then choose SQL Server Database and add that. There, we have a database. Now if I come into the background and look at the folder view, and go into the app data folder, you'll see there's also an LDF file. So Visual Studio does not necessarily show you all of the files that are located in the folder. So I'll just go back to the solution view and add the project to a Git repository. And remember, we're adding this to a local Git repository first. You might be asked to save some changes, go ahead and do so. Before we publish our project to GitHub, let's take a look at the Solution Explorer. You can see here's the app data folder with our database. And if I hover over here, it says ignored. So this is not going to publish up to GitHub. But let's go ahead and do this anyway. We'll go to Team Explorer and publish to GitHub. And publish it. There, the repository was created successfully. I'll click the home icon and then I'll come over here to GitHub. I'll click on my list of repositories and go to this web application one and drill down and you can see that app data folder doesn't even exist here. So the whole thing has just been completely ignored. So how does Visual Studio know to not ignore this file? Well, it turns out there is a project Microsoft has going on where they are trying to identify as many files as possible that would not automatically go into a Git repository or go up into GitHub. And there's many reasons for that. Imagine, for example, if you had an important certificate for your application. You don't want people stealing that certificate and using it to create fake applications under your company name. Also, you have an MDF file here. This is a Microsoft SQL database format. Well, this isn't a text file, and this is not something you really collaborate on. It would be better to actually share your scripts with and how to create the database rather than the actual database itself. So while we can get this onto GitHub, I just want you to be aware that this is probably not a best practice. Now, the word ignored here next to the MDF file gives us a clue as to what we need to do to get this up into GitHub. Let's click on the uh, little icon here to switch to the folder view. And then let's come down here and we'll find a file called .gitignore. I'm going to double click on this. And now what you can see is there's a number of files that will never go into Git or GitHub. So I'm going to do control F on my keyboard and search for MDF and press enter. And now I can see there's a number of SQL Server files that would not go up into GitHub. I'm just going to select all these rows here and delete them. I'll save the file and now I'm going to right click on my Git ignore and commit this change. And I'll say removed SQL files from the .git ignore file and click commit. Before I commit, actually, let's take a look. We actually have the .git ignore going, but look, it's already adding the MDF and LDF files. That's because we removed that and Visual Studio now believes that these belong in GitHub. So when I commit this one change to the git ignore, I'm actually committing a few other changes too. So I'll go ahead and click the commit all button. 
Now it says to sync those changes up to GitHub. So I'll go ahead and push that right now. There, we're successful. Back in GitHub, I'm just going to refresh this page and I'll see that there's the app data with our commit message. And if I click on this, now you'll see that MDF and LDF file are there. So any new changes you make in Visual Studio to the MDF and LDF file will automatically get published every time you sync to GitHub. Now, when I was testing this, I ended up with a few errors and I could not get the MDF and LDF file up to GitHub. I was receiving warning messages. Now, I didn't get them this time, but just be aware you might receive a warning message saying that it can't send the file. That's probably because you need to close the database. So you see over here, I have the Server Explorer open. You can go to the View menu and find Server Explorer here. With this open, just right click on the database that you want to move over. And if you see Close Connection highlighted as something that you can select, select that. That will close the uh, Visual Studio's connection to the database file. And then after you do your sync, that should work just fine. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more like this, please like, comment, and click the bell to support my channel.